What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Apparently you guys enjoyed the 15 minute long routine that we did previously, so we're gonna turn that into a series. Today we continue with a popular request by Adam Siriki. thank you. You suggested a hip and glutes mobility routine, so that's exactly what we're gonna be focusing today, in the mobility and flexibility as well of our hips. This routine is for absolutely all levels. If you're a complete beginner, I'm just gonna suggest that you have a pair of yoga blocks handy to modify some of the positions. And if you're an intermediate to advanced practitioner, just follow me through the entire routine. With that being said, I wanna announce the winner from last video giveaway, which are going to be Joshua Ballard, Eric McBridge, and Julian CH. You guys just won three months for free as a premium membership to the SM Academy, full access to our massive library of content, workout programs, individual moves so you can create your own workouts, our hybrid home workout experience so you can work out at home, and access to our wonderful and beautiful community and basically everything that is the universe of the SM Academy. With that being said, I will see you all in your mass. Our family, we're gonna begin laying down, actually in child's pose, so down in your mat or on the floor. Bring both knees to the outside, to the corners of your mat, uh, toes to touch, and begin to walk your hands forward. Begin to melt down into the floor. You can rest either your shin or your forehead. Once you find some length in your entire spine, begin to settle down, so drop the fingertips and melt down into the floor or into the mat. You can add some little movements side to side. You can either close your eyes, whatever your body is feeling you to do today. I want you to bring your attention into your hips. When we're talking about the hip joint and mobility and flexibility, we're really referring to strengthening some muscles around the hip as well as lengthening some muscles around the hip. So as I mentioned at the beginning, we're gonna be moving dynamically to create some mobility and stability. And at the end, we're gonna be holding some positions so we also work on flexibility. Slowly begin to come up. Bring your hands slightly closer to you. We're gonna be moving from child's pose. Shift the weight forward into a tabletop, keeping your knees wide, and then kick back with your right leg then release the knee down and send the weight back. Let's go towards the left. So table tuck, kick back, engage the left glute, drop the knee back to child's pose, creating length through the entire spine, kick back, right glute, then send the hips back, forward, left, try not to arch from the lumbar spine, back, but keeping a posterior pelvic tilt as you raise the leg up, creating hip extension with the glutes. Back, one more on the left, bring it back, Send it back to child's pose. Now, rock forward into table tuck, adjust your knees so they are hip distance apart. Extend the right leg behind and engage the right glute. Bring the leg up so the right glute is as engaged as possible. Then cross it over towards the left. Touch the floor or the mat and we're gonna pulse it up with the cross leg for about eight times. So let's go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold it for five, four, try to square your hips, three, two, one, bring the knee back to where it was, let's go into the other side, extend the left leg, engage the left glute, hold it for three, two, one, closer over towards the right, touch the floor and pulse it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold it for five, four, three, two, one, come back to a tabletop position, fire hydrant, keep the right knee bent, extend the leg to the outside, so leg abduction, trying to keep your hips square, don't bring your entire body with you, that is for one, let's go for six more of those, so one, down, two, three, four, five, last one, six, hold it for five, four, try to lift the knee and drop the uh, foot, so we create external rotation, hold it for two, 
one and release down. Let's go towards the other side, pump it up towards the left for one, two, three, four, five, six, last one, seven, hold it for five, four, flex the foot, drop the foot and raise the knee for three, two, one, and release down, lift your hips up and back, begin your, to walk your feet back for downward facing dog. External retain your arms, elevate your shoulders as much as possible, press a strong, a strong with your finger, your index finger and your thumb, and find stillness in the pose. You can also pedal out your feet to find some movement and to open up a little bit into the hamstrings. Two deep breaths in here. Your next inhale, raise the left leg up, hold it for three, two, one. Knee to nose, bring the knee in between your hands or the foot in between your hands. Create some space with your foot so you, both hands are on the inside. Adjust your feet so they are hip distance apart. We're gonna pulse down and up for 10 times. Try to create a positive pelvic tilt so we really open into the right psoas. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it down, reach forward for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the right foot to meet your hands and drop into a low squat. You can elevate your heels if you cannot get into the squat. Begin to find some movements side to side in your hips. Use your elbows to push your knees to the outside. Now, you can have your hands behind for some balance or you can do it with no hands. Bring the right knee inside, internal rotation. Bring it to the outside and use your elbow to push it into more external rotation. Let's go for five of those. So one, outside, in, two, in, three, four, and five. Let's go to, towards your side. Left knee in, left knee to the outside. One, in, two, in, three, in, four, in, five. Keep finding some movements in your squat. Extend your legs for a standing forward fall and begin to roll one vertebra at a time using the strength of your hamstrings all the way up. Step the right foot back for high crescent lunge, bring your arms up, begin pulsing down and up for 10 times. So for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Big step forward, support yourself with the left leg, stand up for stork pose with the right leg on top. Place your hands on your hips and begin to open, just like we did on the tabletop, really without bringing your body with you, but really only focusing on the hip joint. Let's go for five of those. For one, two, three, four, five, hold it for five, four, three, two, one, step the foot back for high crescent lunge. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Step forward, both feet. Step back for high crescent lunge on the other side. Right foot is forward, left foot is back. Drop it down, 10 pulses again for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Big step forward, support yourself with the right leg, bend the left leg. Hands can be on your hips or you can be here on prayer. Open using the strength of your glute medius, left glute medius. That is for one, let's go for four more. Two, three, four, last one, five, hold it for five, four, three, two, one big step back with the left foot, square your hips, raise your arms up, hold it for high crescent lunge for five, four, 
three, two, one. Hands or no hands, twist over both feet so you're parallel to the mat. Drop it to the right side for Skandasana. You can slightly lift your heels if that's okay, or you can use your hands, or you can simply do it with no hands. Now moving from one side to the other, choose your progression accordingly. Push it up with the right leg, extend the right leg, bend the left, and flex the right foot so the toes are pointing up. Let's go for five of those. For one, one, you can also stay low. That feels good for you today. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, last one, and five. Bring it up to horse stance. Really push your knees to the outside with your glutes. Lift your upper chest mostly and tilt to your pelvis. Place your hands on your knees, drop the left shoulder, push the left uh, knee away. So we open into the left hip, bring it back to center, go towards the right. Let's go for five on each side. So left, right, one, two, two, three, moving with your breath, three, four, four, five and five slowly use your hands and begin to walk your feet closer and drop down into a little squat place your hands to you simply push yourself up and bring your knees to the back of yourself i'm going to be holding frog pose for a little while we're going to also do some pnf if you have a wall you can place your feet on the wall if not simply put your knees aligned to each other begin by being forward drop into your elbows once you're here knees aligned with the heel and knee is aligned with the other knee and small and zero pelvic tilt and begin to send the hips back until you feel the stretch so you begin forward and then begin to send the weight back until you feel deep stretch on the inner groin which if you have tight hips for sure you're gonna feel it if you don't, you know how to modify this position. Begin doing some pulses back, rock forward and back. Be very careful, this is a very common area of injury. So be mindful of every movement that you do. Once you're ready, find some stillness in the position. Return back your attention into your breathing and into your body. Let me doing some round of PNF. We're gonna be contracting by bringing both knees to the inside. So the action is this, you wanna squeeze the mat towards the inside. We're gonna hold that for five seconds and then we're gonna relax for 15. We're gonna be doing that two times. So in three, two, one, contract for five, four, three, two, one, then relax, maybe send the weight slightly more back to open a little bit more into the hips. Try to breathe as naturally as possible, ideally in through the nose and out through the nose as well. So for the second round, in three, two, one, contract for five, four, three, you should feel it right here, two, one, release, send the weight back. Get a little bit deeper. Maybe your knees begin to slide away. Hold it here for about 15 to 20 seconds. Play around with the position of your pelvis as well. You can do some anterior, see how that creates some more space. Then be careful with small posterior and see where that takes you. And find some little movements, maybe as you repeat this routine every single day. Some days you might hold it statically, other days you might be moving around a little bit more. To get out, simply bring both feet together, send the weight forward, so release the pressure on the inner groin. Push yourself back up. Let's go into a seated position. Let's finish with a seated butterfly and then some laying stretches. 
bring the soles of your feet together and the heels as close to, to you as possible. Take a deep inhale, lift your chest up and exhale, fall as deep as you can. Trying to create length, I don't want anybody rounding right here. Simply go as far as you can go, keeping your back flat. Imagine your chest is leading forward rather than leading down. Slowly release, extend both legs in front of you, adjust yourself so you can lay down in your back, bring the right knee towards you, create some external rotation with the leg, bring the left knee towards you, suppress on the right ankle or right shin, bring the hands to the inside to open up a little bit more into the outer hip, which was actually requested by our loyal subscriber. So you can push actively with your hands. You're gonna also do some PNF in this position. I'm just letting you know that in case you wanna repeat this routine again, you have several options to do it. You can also be active right here. Let's hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release, switch legs, bend the left leg, bring the right knee towards you, left hand to the inside, right hand to the outside, and bring the knee towards you. Hold that for about 30 seconds. Ten more seconds. Maybe go a little bit deeper into the stretch. And slowly release. Bring the hands to the outside of your feet for happy baby. Bring the knees as close to your chest as possible. You can rock side to side. You can have a big smile <laughs> in your face. Be proud of yourself, even though it's a short practice, it could be challenging if you're pushing to your edge. And we should be pushing to our edge here and then. Not every time that you step in your mat, but out of our comfort zone is where we find true freedom. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Bring both feet in a 90-90 position, both legs. Open your hands into a T, twist over towards the left, gaze over towards the right. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back to the middle. Bring it over towards the right. Gaze over towards the left. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Back to middle, extend both legs to the corner of your mat and allow your eyes to close. Feel free to stay on this position for as long as you want. We're going to stand up and say goodbye to the camera, so no meditation, no uh, anything as you guys are accustomed to our long routines. If you guys enjoyed this routine, please leave it in the comment section down below. If you have any requests for a 15, uh, 15 minute long videos, leave it also in the comment section down below. If you're more interested in a longer routine for the hips, I'm gonna link it up one here and down in the description, or you can check any of the other routines. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment down below what else would you like to see on this channel. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe one more time so you don't miss any content in the future. And with that being said, I will see you all next week. Much love. Oof. That was easy. Was too easy, guys, was too easy. Was it too easy? I don't know. They have to comment down, they down below. below. Subscribe. We love you.